Hey, what's going on YouTube? Will here from All Electric back again with another video. And this is test number five of the curvy country road test in my Model 3. I've updated the camera setup after your feedback. Thank you all that gave me feedback on my last video. And I hope that you like this camera setup a little bit better. I found that the view from the driver's seat is a lot better than what I was doing in the last video, not to mention the rear view mirror got in the way a little bit. So if you haven't seen these tests before, I really encourage you to go check out the playlist. These first couple curves are pretty minor, but near the end of the video, we're gonna get into some pretty aggressive curves. So the software I'm running right now is 2019.20.4.2, same as test number four. A lot of you have also given me feedback saying that you can't just do one pass on the road and expect that to be the same every time. So I'm trying to do multiple tests over the same version. So right here, we're getting to the smaller part where we're actually going into a little town and I have to disengage autopilot right here to merge to the right. And there's no traffic here, so it's kind of smooth sailing. So I'm still in adaptive cruise control. You can see I check back behind me, nobody's coming, and then I re-engage autopilot. But if you didn't see test number four, I was in heavy traffic, and this was kind of interesting. I really think it was just coincidence, but it looks like autopilot is merging perfectly. Of course, no of the none of the other drivers around me knew that I was engaged in autopilot, but that's how it should be. So it just happened perfectly where the van pulled forward and then the Cadillac pulled up and it took a second for the autopilot to speed up and then it recognized the Cadillac. Just something pretty cool. I encourage you to go back and check out that test number four. So we have a slight bend in the road here until we get to this slow part in the town and it still does beautifully even though there's not a, a lot of traffic, but we're gonna skip ahead till we get to the really curvy part of the road. So this is the first part of the curve and for whatever reason the autopilot did slow down. I think I engaged it at a lower speed. And we're getting to another curve that's starting to get a little bit more aggressive, not too aggressive, still going about 30 miles an hour. The speed limit's gonna bump up to 35 here. And as we get to the next curve, this is what you guys have seen before where it's a big curve to the left and a hill going up. And it performs beautifully. But I wanna jump back to test number four so you guys can see. Now this is the same software here and we get the same result. It performs beautifully again. So now let's jump back to test number three, a different software version, 2019.16.2 and we get the same result, even though I would say, if you look back at that, it was a little bit close to that double yellow line, but it performed about the same as our current software version. This again here is test number five. So pretty impressive. I would say the autopilot has really mastered that curve. Now this other curve coming up is a little bit different and a lot more challenging. You can see the autopilot there, <laughs> I had to take over. So let's take a look at that in slow-mo. The autopilot starts to go to the right-hand side, heading right at that grassy hill, so I quickly take over. Now let's look at test number four. It starts to go there a little bit, but is able to correct itself soon enough, and I felt safe enough to let the autopilot keep going. So here it is again. It starts to go a little bit, but it still is not heading straight towards that hill. But now let's look back at test number two because test number two looks an awful lot like this test, test number five. You can see here in test number two, it's starting to go and it goes right to veer straight into that mud pile or that grassy hill. So test number two is just the same as this current test, test number five, which I thought was interesting considering it's multiple software updates and you would think that the software would be getting better now again, this is very challenging and these roads are really, really challenging for this autopilot. So we have a downward sloping hill and in previous versions, the shadows that the tree makes on the road are really challenging. So I encourage you to go back and look at those tests, but it does beautifully here. We have a blind right-hand turn here 
and the autopilot is able to navigate it perfectly even with these shadows and again during test number one and two and earlier software, software versions it was really challenging for the autopilot to navigate with these shadows so the software team over at Tesla has been doing great so we had a kind of an upward bend and to the right let's look at that again in slow-mo and this has been a challenging turn pre in previous tests but the autopilot did a really good job and I think part of that had to do with this white SUV that we're following here let's look back at test number four where we're not following any vehicle and it got a little bit close over there on that right hand side and test number three where we're not following any vehicle and you can see again it got a little bit tight on that right hand side you can tell by the blue lines on the touchscreen versus this test it did get a little bit tight over there but I as a driver felt more comfortable with test number five so around this right hand turn with a lot of shadows it did perfectly versus a couple other tests here's test number four and there's a lot of shadows in a car and it gets really tight I know you can't see the touchscreen on that and I do apologize here's test number three no car in front of you and it did just fine and the last curve in this test autopilot slows down significantly thanks to this white SUV in front of us and so if we look at that in slow-mo we can see that the autopilot is performing beautifully because it's slowing down because of the car in front of it so it's getting a lot of assistance from that white SUV now if we look back at test number four we can see that there's no car and it's trying to take this at almost full speed and it's starting to get a little bit uneasy so I do end up taking over here in test number three there's also no car in front of me but I felt like it was staying more in the center of the lane and because I keep full pressure on the steering wheel at all times whenever autopilot does something that I'm not expecting it does disengage and like you see here during test number four that's exactly what happened versus test number five here where it slowed down very drastically it was able to see the turn and stay in the center of the lane and I felt very comfortable if you guys haven't done so yet click that link down below and head over to patreon and support this channel for as little as one dollar a month and right now through July 5th you can actually get a top tier benefit for one dollar and that's a personal shout out to you on my next YouTube video and right now I want to give a shout out to our man Amin who's supporting me at the all electric tier that's my highest tier that I have thank you so much for your support and thank you to all my other patrons over on patreon supporting the channel thank you I cannot say thank you enough I hope you guys like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you haven't done so yet hit that subscribe button share this video with a friend and I will see you guys in the next one.